Hello everybody, welcome back to this video. Today I'm going to be going through some tips, tricks and strategies that I use to revise GCSE Computer Science and achieve a grade 9. So let's get straight into the video. Point number one that I'm going to say here, which is slightly unconventional, but it really helped me for my GCSE Computer Science, was using mind maps. So for the longer essay-based questions, maybe on ethical and moral hazards with computer systems, this really helped me link things together and link concepts together from across the course. This ability to see where different parts of the course and different information linked together was really useful and helpful in developing answers to these questions. In many of my answers were a lot more logical and coherent and I was able to achieve higher marks. Point number one is use mind maps, especially for the longer answer questions, to link concepts together. Point number two is still practice coding. Now I know for at least AQA, they have still taken the coding section out of the course I didn't do it in my year, I doubt you'll be doing it this year. But I really recommend to still practice coding, and that's because coding really helps with the algorithm side of the computer science course. By doing coding and solving coding problems and issues, it means that you can really understand how algorithms work and how they're developed in the real world. So it's a really useful skill to have when going into that paper one where algorithms are used. And this is because coding gives you the direct skills that the paper will ask you to use. For example, your paper may ask you to write an algorithm, or change an algorithm, or develop an algorithm, or tell where an algorithm is inefficient, and coding is a really useful way of being able to practice this skill. While we're speaking about algorithms in the paper, I'd really recommend a couple things specifically for the algorithm questions. These are usually quite high marks, so it's really important that you understand how these questions are framed and the best way to answer them. One thing I'd really recommend that I see a lot of students not do is be neat and precise with your algorithm. What I mean by this is use things like indentation. It helps the examiner see what you're doing, and it also helps you see what you're doing with your different loops and iterations. It's okay to have a rough idea of what your algorithm is going to be before, but when you do your final algorithm, make sure it's really neat and easy for the examiner to understand to ensure you get the high mark. Point number three is to use flashcards or revision cards to understand the key terminology of the computer science course. A lot of students fail to do this because they're focusing too much on the algorithm side and problem solving side. But having good knowledge of definitions and a basic understanding of key terms in the computer science course is really going to help you with the one and two mark questions. Some sites that I have used and fellow students have used are Brainscape, Anki, Quizlet. I could go on and on. So yeah, I really recommend using revision cards to help with the understanding and learning the terminology of the computer science course. Point number four is to use a wide range of resources when revising for GCSE computer science. I use quite a few. A main resource that I used was the revision guide. I used the CGP revision guide and I actually found it was more helpful than other revision guides I've used in the past and even the CGP revision guide for other subjects. It's quite condensed, easy to understand and gives you quite a bit of good knowledge. So yeah, using revision guides is definitely one resource you can use and one that I personally used to help me achieve my grade 9. Another resource that I used, which I didn't use as much but was definitely still helpful, was YouTube videos. Craig and Dave is a YouTube channel where they explain key concepts of GCSE computer science and walk you through these concepts. I used it for a couple topics that I was a bit iffy on and a bit stuck on. It's actually a really useful resource. Some of my friends religiously revised from this and they did quite well, so it does seem like quite a good resource to use. And I think this is because different students are suited to different ways of learning. I wasn't that much of a visual learner, but a lot of my friends were, so maybe give this a go and see if it works well for you. I'll leave a link to their YouTube channel down in the description. Another thing that I didn't do personally, but some of my friends use, and they found it quite useful, was podcasts. For example, Seneca Learning have a podcast on Spotify, and it's probably on other music and podcast apps for the GCSE Computer Science course. So if you learn better by listening to things, this may be a good resource to use. Maybe try it out and give it a go. But by using a wide range of resources, obviously exam papers, revision guides, flashcards, YouTube videos, it means that your knowledge should be quite concrete and quite complete, because you're getting different information from different sources, so hopefully this will help you in your actual exam. If I was getting bored and the textbook work was even quite tedious, I'd maybe switch to a YouTube video, a Craig and Dave video, and it would just help my revision. So I definitely recommend doing this. And point number five is kind of two things in one, and that is exam practice and focusing on your weaknesses. So obviously exam practice is probably the most important thing you can do when revising for GCSE Computer Science or any GCSE of this matter. Getting used to what the questions are going to be like, the time pressure, how they could word things is really, really important to ensure you actually do the best you can on the actual exam date. Moreover, by doing past papers, you can clearly see where your weaknesses are. The questions that you don't really understand, the ones you're getting wrong, these are where your weaknesses are, and that can lead you to adapt and change your revision to focus more on these topics. As an example, for me personally, the moral and ethical side of the computer science course, I wasn't that strong on. And I realised this because I did exam questions and past papers and wasn't doing very well in these sections. 
This meant that I adapted my revision and I focused more on this section of the course because obviously it's a weakness and I want to improve on it more to get that top, top grade. And that kind of leads me on to the second part of this, which is focus on your weaknesses. Everyone loves to do things they're good at and I'm definitely subject to this as well, but you're not gonna achieve the best grade you can if you don't focus on those weaknesses. If you truly understand a topic in computer science, you really don't need to go over it that much, if at all. If it sticks in your brain and you truly have a coherent understanding, then really that leaves you space to focus your revision elsewhere on the topics you're weak about. And this is the way you can achieve the top grades. So I know this video isn't that long, but I try to be as concise and clear as possible when giving you this information. I hope you found it helpful and informative. And if you want to check out how I managed to achieve 12th grade 9s in my GCSEs, click this link here. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next week.